Bonjour and welcome to the Tarot of Claude. Today I'm going to be doing your mid-December tarot reading for the sign of Taurus. I hope you're doing well and that you've had a good first half of the month. Those are general readings, they will not resonate with everybody. Take what applies directly to your circumstances and discard the rest. If the message doesn't resonate or you would like a more comprehensive picture, do check out your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. So what energies do I have for mid-December for my Taurus viewers? So your first card is personal transformation. And 3 plus 5, this card 35, equals 8, which is the number of advancement. Now I'm going to put out a card from the Animal Spirit Guides and see which animal comes forward for you. Oh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> all of them. The spider wanted to come out. Trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories. That's not the one because too many jumps. So let me continue my shuffling. That was a bonus message. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so your card is the peacock. Oh, one of the fire signs got that. Let yourself stand out and be noticed. Okay, so someone's coming out of their shells. Let's see what the tower has to say about all of this. card is the Six of Cups. Second card is the Hangman, Major Arcana. Third card is the Eight of Swords. Fourth card is the Knight of Pentacles or Coins. Middle of your spread you have the King of Pentacles. Justice, Major Arcana. Three of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and Death. Now I'm not surprised to see Death coming up because Death is um, the, the end of the, the old to start anew. Bottom of the deck you have the Page of Pentacles, which is the hidden energy, the energy you may not be aware of. Give me a second please. Okay, so in the past you have the um, Six of Cups, you also have the Six of Pentacles in the near future. But the Six of Cups with the Hangman and the Eight of Swords. Now, the Six talks about harmony. Um, cups is to do with feeling, emotions, love, relationships, friendships, all of this. And so sometimes it refers to someone from the past having come back, but it can also reference um, long-term relationships, committed relationships, um, something that started in the past. And so following this specific relationship, you've got the hangman. Now, this is a major arcana, so this means that this is something that's um, put on your path to make you grow on your life journey by God, the universe, or your spirit team. And obviously they are different meanings to the cards, but the hangman, um, the message I'm getting right now is um, you, 
you had a period of stalling, of being stuck, nothing really happening, and um, you directed some psychological sheets, shields, uh, you, you had blocks, mental blocks, because swords is to do with your thoughts and um, your intellect, and the Eight of Swords talks about um, you erecting um, psychological defences, um, and the need also to be in control, you want to advance and you want to be in control but you can't because the hangman is here and it's here for a reason, well it was it's in the past, it was here for a reason, it was a period of heavy reflection, it was forced upon you, you may have felt very very stuck with the hangman and the eight of swords and to do with um, a long term relationship or a past relationship. And this is, as I said, you know, the universe put this on your path for you to grow. And you have the card of personal transformation here. And so this may have been the time that you needed in order to um, assimilate whatever lessons the universe or God wanted you to, um, to gain from this. But it manifested with um, psychological defences being up. Um, and trying to control this, which you can't when there's a major arcana. In the middle of your spread, you have the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and Justice card. And Justice is another major arcana. Now, Justice is the Karma card. You reap what you sow. And when she appears in a reading, um, she's generally here to tell you that Justice is going to be served in your favour. She brings back the balance that was amiss. Um, and so we're talking about pentacles here, so we're talking about material things, your physical world. So we're talking about your job, career, but also um, a house, um, an apartment, um, financial assets. And so the king of pentacles is the master of the suit. He is... Um, very abundant and very stable. It's earth energy, so it's slow but very stable energy. He knows how to provide for himself and his family and everyone around him. Um, very trustworthy energy. Knight of Pentacles is the same kind of energy but not as advanced. And if we're looking at people here, um, this is someone uh, under the age of 40, whereas this is someone above the age of 40 with a king. No genders attached to the um, um, cards because it's a general reading. So, uh, you could be um, dealing with um, some legal stuff, obviously. Um, doesn't have to be, but it could be for some of you. And the King of Pentacles just um, is a very positive card to have because he is abundant, stable, financially secure, so doesn't have to worry about this. I could also read this as um, the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight is to do with forward movement and with having a, um, a very specific goal in mind. So you you have sown the seeds and you are now coming for your harvest. Now, although it's slow energy, it's very reliable energy and very steady. And then this leads you to the financial stability represented by the King of Pentacles. And this is karma in your favor because you've worked hard and now you are reaping the, um, the harvest that you deserve. And in the near future, you've got the Three of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Death card. Now, I did mention the Death card as soon as it came out, because this is the card of transformation. It is the end of something for something else to start. And you have the Personal Transformation card. Um, it could be you transforming yourself from the Knight of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles, you know. Um, from having come for the harvest and slow and steady energy to actually having everything you need and want. And this is karmic energy, this is what is owed to you, that's what justice is here. And before I move on to the um, near future, in the environment, the energy around you that you're not aware of, is the Page of Pentacles. Now the pages are um, news bearers and also indicator of a new direction. So this could be a new offer coming your way in the physical world. So um, a new job, a new career, completely different from what you were doing before. Someone recognized your talent 
and you are being enrolled for um, a course for instance or someone saw leadership qualities in you at work and they want to make you a senior partner or a senior leader within the, the company so you will be the page and you will be moving up again as I said um, upgrading from being the knight of pentacles to becoming the king of pentacles and all of this is something that you uh, deserve because you got justice here so this is very good in the environment and this offer is going to make you feel very good because the th number three is growth and expansion so three of cups is you feeling joy and happiness also working collaboratively with people um, a very good team um, and bringing upon you the energy of the Six of Pentacles, which is the energy of harmony after challenges. And the Six of Pentacles is giving and receiving energy, um, balance, which is, you know, coming from this collaboration, this joy you're experiencing, you're being surrounded by good people. Um, and this is going to transform you. This is going to bring about a brand new beginning for you. This is the death of who you used to be and the, the rebirth. Um, of who you are meant to be, which is, you know, someone who's meant to be noticed, um, someone who's recognized by people. So this is a, um, a very deep um, personal reading um, of growth and you getting what you deserve because you, you've worked um, through it. And it is brought to you by the um, God, the Divine, um, your spirit team. So if you get an offer, um, the cards are saying you should jump on it because this is going to be very beneficial for you. Obviously you have free will, you do what you want. I can only tell you um, what I'm reading in the cards. But I hope you've enjoyed your journey through the cards with me. I've uploaded my 2022 tarot readings and I will leave you a card right here if you want to check it out. If you enjoyed this reading, do let me know in the comment box below if it's been of any help. I would love to hear from you. And I wish you a fantastic end of the month and hope to see you again very soon. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Until next time, au revoir.